If you've been using your iPad for a while, but you feel like you're only just scratching the surface, this video is for you. Welcome to episode two of From Beginner to iPad Pro, my monthly series where I share five simple iPad tips to help you get the most out of your device. These are built-in features that are easy to miss, but once you know about them, they can make a big difference. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first tip I'm gonna show you is how you can make a PDF out of pretty much anything. So there's a few different ways you can do this. I'm gonna show you three different ways. The first way is how to make a PDF out of a web page. So let's go over to Safari. So let's say that we wanted to make a PDF of this Wikipedia article. So all you'll need to do is come up to the share icon up the top here, select that. Scroll down to print. And then you can see under print, it has one of 26 pages. It's gonna turn this whole article into a PDF. You can do all 26 pages if you want, or you can also come under range and select pages. Let's say we only want the first three pages. We would just change that one to three, and then we go back. And so now we're only gonna be making a PDF from pages one to three. So once you've done that, you then come to the share icon again, and then we're gonna go save to file. And here it's going to save it on our iPad. So you can either save it in your iCloud or straight up on your iPad. I'm just gonna save it on my iPad. And then we come up the top here and go save. And then if we go out of Safari and come down to our files and we're on my iPad, you can see right down here, it's made a PDF out of the Wikipedia article. We can open that and we have the first three pages that we've saved. The other way you can make PDFs is from your notes. So if you come across to your notes app, and let's say we wanted to turn this note into a PDF. You would do the same thing. You would come up to the share icon. You would scroll down to print, and then you would go to the share icon up here, and you would go save to file. And then again, we choose our location where we want to save it. So I'm just going to save it on my iPad. We can rename it if we wanted to here, but I'm just going to keep it as keyboard shortcuts and then we go save. Now you might also think you could just go to the share icon and save to file, but if you do that without going print, it will actually just save it as a text file. So I'll just show you. So we'll just go save to file and then we'll just go save. We'll come out and go into our files. And then you can see here, we've got the keyboard shortcuts PDF and that's the one we made when we went to the print option. And then we have this dot text, which is the one we made when we just went save to file. So if you want to make a PDF, you have to go to the print option first. And so there you can see our PDF. The last one I'll show you is how to turn a photo into a PDF. So if you come across to your photos app and then select a photo, and then if you click the share icon down the bottom here and then scroll down to print and then to the share icon again and go save to file and then you pick your location and we'll go save and you can rename it if you wanted to rename it. Then we go back to our files. So now we can see instead of having a JPEG photo, we have a PDF copy of the photo. So up next, I'm gonna show you how you can use your keyboard as a trackpad. So for this one, I'm gonna just open up notes to demonstrate. So we'll go to notes and then we will just press on the screen to bring up the keyboard. And there's two ways you can do this. The first way is you can press and hold on your space bar and then move your finger around and you can see the cursor here moves around through the text. It's just a really easy way for when you want to edit a word, you can just quickly move the cursor around, find the word you want, and then you can make your changes. So the next one is using two fingers and pressing anywhere on the keyboard to move the cursor. So just press anywhere with two fingers 
and then slide your fingers around on the keyboard to move your cursor. I mostly use the one finger press on the space bar. I've just always found that the easiest for me, but you do have the two options. The next tip is how to do a quick swipe between apps. So to quickly navigate to another app that you've recently just had open, you can use your four fingers and just do a swipe gesture. So you just need to press all four fingers down at the same time and swipe left or right. So if we just go four fingers and swipe, opens up our files app because we just had that open. And then again, Wikipedia and our notes app so that we can go both ways and you can use that four finger gesture to navigate through your apps really fast. The next tip is another one for Safari. So if we go over to Safari and open that, you can see here we have a website which is for a recipe and we have a whole lot of pop-up ads and distracting items here. So this one is called Safari Reader Mode, and it's a way that you can hide these distracting items when you're trying to view a web page. So if you come up here to the website URL, and then on the side here, you have this little icon. If we press this icon here, you can see we have hide distracting items. So we're gonna click on hide distracting items, and now we can select on any items on the website and hide them. So we have this video here that's quite distracting. We can click on that and go hide. We have this ad down the bottom, click on that and go hide. So it just makes it easier for when you're trying to view a website and you really just wanna read the information but you have all these pictures and videos popping up all the time. You can just click on them and hide them so you can just view what you want to view. So I find this really helpful on that recipe websites because they always have so many ads. You will find that sometimes there's just layers and layers of images and that's usually the ads on the side, but it is handy if you want to hide some of the big pictures in here. So now you can just review the text for your recipe. And then once you're done removing any items that you want to hide, you can just click up the top there and then go done. And then that will keep all of the items hidden while you're viewing your website. But if you find you want to return the website back to how it was, you just need to go back up to this icon and then you go show hidden items and then show. And then it brings back all of the things that you hid before. Okay, and so for the last tip, this one's a really quick and easy one. It's perfect for those times where you might be on, let's say, a web page. We just have a normal web page here, and let's say we're scrolling for a while, and then we realize that we want to jump back up to the top of the web page. You can actually just click up here between your clock and your date, and it will jump us to the top of the page again. This doesn't work in every app, but it does work in a few. So you can do it in Safari. And I also do it a lot when I'm like scrolling through YouTube. It'll also bring me up to the top again. So it doesn't work in every app, but there's a few that you can do it on. So test it out, have a play with it. It's just really handy that you can just tap up here on the clock and it will bring you back up to the top of the page. That's it for this month's iPad tips. Simple, quick tricks that help you get the most out of your iPad. Let me know in the comments which tip you're gonna try out first. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you missed episode one, you can check it out here. Thanks for watching.